everyone welcome back to my channel I am coming at you from my porch today I wanted to change it up a little bit because I always have the same background however <laughs> there are lots of noises going on so I'm gonna apologize in advance for that because the drum line is playing at the high school up the street there are birds chirping and there are cars going by neighbors yelling I don't know all of the above so I really hope you guys don't get distracted by it like I do during this video but I hope you guys like the change up of scenery I wanted to change up the background and give myself like a little bit more of that natural light too but I've been traveling so much lately that I wanted to share with you guys what is in my travel makeup bag so we're gonna jump right into that right now we have a little buddy joining us too so today we are here to talk all about makeup for traveling. So what's in my travel makeup bag? So I have my travel makeup bag right here. Yes, this is mine. I have found kind of like the perfect combo for uh, traveling with my makeup. There is another one I'm gonna show you guys too that a brand sent me that I used my last trip and I really liked. So I'm gonna show you both of those today. So this is just from Ulta, I think it was like 20 bucks. It's a perfect size for traveling, nothing too big. I don't like to take a lot of large items. I like to pack as small as I can, especially when I went to Europe. This was my bag for Europe. I needed to save as much room as possible, so the smaller, the better. So this has my brushes in it as well, so everything fits right in here. So I'm gonna take everything out of it and then go through what's all in it as we put it back in. Okay, so as I said before, I use this bag here from Ulta. It is $20, super affordable. They have a whole line of um, the same print too. I just thought it was really pretty with the gold and then like the paisley colorful pattern. They do have one um, that's similar to the other one I'm gonna show you, which I'll talk about in just a minute too, but they have a ton of different ones and super affordable. So I start with this guy and then I start putting in my products based on how I put them on my face. So we're gonna start with primer. I use the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I use a bunch of different primers, but this one's like the smallest primer I own. So I like to take this with me on trips. So we'll put that guy in there. For foundation, I pretty much have the same foundation year round, but if I'm also going somewhere that's more tropical or I'm gonna be in the sun, then I bring these two foundations. So this is the It Cosmetics CC Cream with the SPF 50. And then this is my tried and true Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. So this guy is glass. So you want to be very careful while traveling with it, but I have a pro tip. If you go to Ulta and ask for a sample size foundation from Estee Lauder, they're going to give you a two-week supply in bottles like this, and they are plastic, so super easy to travel with. I've just saved these, and when I travel, I just pump this right in here, and I actually buy this pump separately too, um, but it locks for when you're traveling, so I think that's perfect. I'll bring either one or both of these sometimes, but always, if you're gonna bring the glass, always put it in a plastic bag because if this does break in transit, then you're gonna have a whole big mess to deal with later. So, pro tip on that. So I really love shopping at Ulta over Sephora for travel size products because they have drugstore as well. So I like to do a little bit of a mix of both drugstore and high-end for travel. But uh, Ulta has these tart shape tape little minis and you can only get these, you can't get these online, you can only get them in store in their like checkout line, but the actual like regular size bottles of these are still not that big, so if you wanted to just take a regular one that would be fine too, but I figured this was perfect because it had just the amount I needed in there. For setting powder, I have this little dinky Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, and then this little poof that came with it. It came in like a set with the brightening powder, this guy, and then like I think a highlighting powder. Um, but I will link it. I will link everything down below per usual, but I just love this little size and then next up is bronzer I have my favorite. It's the bronze goddess from Estee Lauder. I have it in the shade light uh, This is not small, but it is slim. So what I actually do for traveling with compacts is I Place a cotton round in there. This is just like a cotton square, but it keeps it Compact in there from like if it ends up hitting on something it won't shatter the product inside so love that the next up is highlighter. They do have a travel size of this, but this large size is perfect anyway. I have the Becca Champagne Pop because it is one of my favorite. You guys know I use it all the time. For bronzer, they do have a travel size in this one as well, but this size is perfect for travel for me. It is the blush from Benefit. This one is the Live in the California Dream in shade. Here it is, so sunny golden pink blush. So I just love the packaging on this guy too. I think it's so cute. Let me show you the color. It gives like this 
pretty peachy pink hue. Okay, next up is an eyeshadow palette. I figured out the perfect palette for traveling. I have a ton of options on my blog post too that I will link uh, for travel palettes, but this one you get to create yourself. So this is the Buxom Customizable Eyeshadow Palette. So it comes empty and then you get to fill it with your favorite. I chose these colors here. It's kind of the perfect mix of nudes and warm and cool tones with a little bit of a shimmer. I just love it and I love that it comes with a mirror as well. So these just pop right in so you can pick from so many different colors that they have. And when you purchase these colors, the palette actually comes free. Okay, and last of her palettes is this guy here. I do not leave anywhere without this palette because it's amazing. So this is the Clairol, I guess you really wouldn't call it a palette, but it's the Clairol Root Touch Up Powder. I use it on my roots, so when I put my hair up, I have like a weird hairline, so I end up using it around my roots to kind of conceal any like spots that look like there's a little less hair. Absolutely love it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I've probably shared how to use this before, but it is seriously amazing and it's a game changer. Okay, on to all the pencils and everything. So for eyebrows, I usually use a pomade, but when I go on trips, I bring my pencils because it's so much easier. It's less to bring and less to break, all of that. I have two of my favorite pencils here. I kind of go back and forth between the two. One of them is, well, they're both Anastasia Beverly Hills. One of them is the Brow Definer Brush, and one of them is the Brow Wiz. They both have spoolies on the end, so you don't have to bring an extra spoolie, um, but one of them is skinnier, and then the other one is a little bit larger. So it doesn't matter. I kind of grab whichever one comes first and take it with me. And I always bring my nude pencil with me. This is the Rimmel Scandalize. It's the 24-hour wear nude pencil. I just love this because it gives that like brightness and openness to your eyes, especially when you're on a trip. And then I also bring a liquid liner. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Liner. I believe it's waterproof. Yes, it's waterproof. And one of my favorites, it's a felt tip liner, so it goes on smoothly, gives a nice little wing if you need that, and it's perfect to travel with. For mascara, I with my lash extensions, I only have to use mascara on my bottom lashes right now, but either way, I still bring my Benefit Bad Gal, Bad Gal Bang, I can't say it, Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This stuff is amazing, one of my absolute favorites, and I have it in the little travel too. And to set your makeup, my tried and true Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray is definitely a must have. I love this packaging on this one, I think this was last year's. I think this was last year's packaging, but it is so cute. And they have the Urban Decay um, setting spray in the summer night scent that it, they just sent me. It smells so good. So once I use this up, I'm gonna go right onto that one. But the perfect size for traveling. Okay, and then last but not least is lips. I like to bring a nude lippy and a more bold lippy, but still like on the nude side. For traveling, literally these two like work all the time with any outfit especially this guy so this is dose of colors truffle you guys know i absolutely love this stone is also a good one but it's a little more cool tone so this is more of that warmer like rosy red nude rosy pink nude i should say absolutely love it and then this guy i'm actually wearing right now so this is stila friends i think is how you say it this is their liquid lipstick literally both of these last all day i can put them on and literally never have to touch up okay so the last thing i put in there is this brush bag i actually got this from morphe in a set it had a bunch of brushes in it and the little travel bag came in the set i don't use any of the brushes that came in the set i just use my own brushes and put them in here i'll link similar kind of packaging down below for you guys but i'm gonna go over what's in here so you you want to bring the least amount of brushes so these are like basically my go-to everyday brushes so i have to have all of these so I'll go through each one of them. So I have my foundation brush, which is the Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. You guys know I talk about that all the time. Love it. We have the blush brush from Real Techniques. And then we have another blush brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. It's supposed to be for blush, but I use it for bronzer. I just like the tapered end, and it just works really well to like get in and contour a little bit. This is the V3 BH Cosmetics brush. I'll link some similar ones because I don't think they have this anymore. And then my favorite highlighting brush, this is the Real Techniques brush. I think uh, this is a setting brush, but it works so perfectly for highlighting. And then I have two Morphe brushes that I use for my eyes. They're just fluffy. One of them's like a tapered fluffy and one of them's like a thinner. Like this one's just like overall fluffy and then this one's got like a thinner side. So this really can get under, under the under eyes. Love both of those. And then I bring one flat brush 
This is just from BH Cosmetics. This is gonna work with that um, those shimmers to put on the lid. You can also use this with like concealer and do a cut crease too. So that's all that's in this guy. And then what's great about this is that it zips up and it fits right inside here. And then you can zip it and you're good to go. One other thing you may wanna bring is a beauty blender. I have this guy here. Um, it just fits in this little pill kind of case because it keeps it from, or it helps it dry out between uses, but it doesn't really fit in there. So I always use my Sigma F80 Kabuki for concealer anyway um, and foundation. So I don't ever really need this. I just kind of have it on backup. Okay, let's chat about this guy real quick. So um, I believe, I thought it was on Amazon, but I believe it's just available on their website, but Case Up sent me this, and it's super similar to a lot of other ones I found too, so I will link those in my blog post. Um, actually, there is a pattern just like this. The other like one from this set is just like this too. Um, it's similar, not just like it, but pretty similar. But anyway, so this has like a hard outside case, and then you open it up, and it's one of these hanging guys here and you put all your makeup in here and it's got these like mesh inserts and then this is where your brushes go see so the little slots there for it and then there's still slots back here and zippers and all of that and I used this in Utah and I absolutely loved it the only thing about me taking makeup is I like to see it all so I usually take it all out um, so this wouldn't really need to be hanging at all times, but it's really good if you're like in a small space and you don't have a lot of area to like lay out all of your makeup. So if you need to take out one piece at a time and kind of do it that way, it works perfectly. So I just wanted to at least show you guys this since I thought it was really cool and it worked really well in my Utah trip. But I think overall this guy is my favorite because it just fits everything so perfectly and I can dump everything out and good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see like other what's in my bag videos, let me know. I definitely can do those for you. And if you guys have like a favorite travel item that you guys absolutely have to have, let me know down in the comments if I don't have it already. Um, I'd love to hear your favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Chase, if you're going to be in the video, you can't lick your crotch. Excuse me, hello. Excuse me, can you use your manners? Can you use your manners? Yeah, let's use our manners, okay? They are going hard with these drums right now. And wind chimes or something? I don't know what I'm hearing. Oh, I do have all the windows open so that there's some fresh air coming in. There's like firecrackers going off, the, someone's mowing their lawn, and of course you can come in now. Uh, the dogs are scared of the firecrackers right now and then I guess this is what happens when I try to change up my filming space. Can you say hi to everyone? You kind of stink like drum line right now. So, and now my neighbors are yelling.